Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my tutorial channel. It's Daniela Tran here and today we are going to work on section 8-1, the advanced level from the IFM practice exam. So let's look at problem 1. For a non-dividend paying stock you are given, the current stock price is 40. At the end of the month, the stock price will be either 42 or 38. Assume that the continuously compounded risk-free interest rate is 0.08. Given that the price of a 39 tri-call option with a 1 month to maturity is 1.5, what strategy can you use to take advantage of the uh, arbitrary opportunity, if any? So, for this problem, um, we are given the uh, price of a 39 trico option with one month to maturity is 1.5. In order to find out the uh, arbitrary opportunities, we have to calculate the theoretical price of a call option uh, using the current stock price 40, the, uh, the stock price after a month, and the uh, compounded risk interest rate. Here, let's summarize the question. We got S0 is 40, SU is 42, and of course 42 over 40 is 1.05. SD is 38, and 38 is just uh, 40 times 0.95. Um, CU here is uh, 3, and CD is 0. Now we use the um, replicating portfolio to evaluate the number of shares of stocks and um, the B amount of dollars in bond that we need to um, have to contract the replicating portfolio. Let's say delta be the number of shares of stock and B be the amount of dollars in bond. We got C naught here is the theoretical price of a 39 trico option with one month to maturity. C naught is delta times S naught plus B. We got in uh, in a case when the stock goes up, we got CU is uh, delta E to the delta H SU plus B times E to the RH. Here delta the dividend U ray is zero. Um, R is 0.08 uh, and H is one over twelve because it's calculated on one month. So we have a new linear system of two variables. We got three is equal to forty two delta plus b times e to the 0 0.08 over 12 and uh, 0 is equal to 38 delta plus b times e to the 0 0.08 over 12 from here we solve for delta and b we got delta is 0 0.75 and b is negative 28.31 and from here we find out the theoretical um, price of uh, the call option is 1.69 but the given price is 1.5 so technically, when you want to make a profit by arbitrary opportunity, you have to follow one rule, buy low, sell high. So basically, you have to buy the one with 1.5, which is the call option. So you need to buy the 1.5, and then uh, in the C0, we got 0.75 uh, share of stock and negative 28.31, which means you have to sell 0.75 shares of stock and laying the amount $28.31 because when the cost is negative that means you have uh, that is the amount of money you have so you have $28.31 cash so you should lend it so buy a car short sell 0.75 stock and lend $28.31 cash problem 2 for a non-dividend paying stock you are given, the current stock price is 100. At the end of one year, the stock price will be either 100 U or 92. The continuously compounded risk free interest rate is 0 0.08. The price of a one year at the money call option on the stock is 1.78. Calculate U. So, let's uh, work on this. First, summarize the question. You have S0 is 100, SD is 92, SU is 100 U, CU is 100 times U minus 1, CD is 0. 
um, the original to a probability here p star is equal to s naught times 1 plus r minus f d over um, s u minus f d and it should be 105 minus 92 over 100 u minus 92 which is 13 over 100 u minus 92 uh, and um, using the uh, original uh, formula to calculate the uh, rise of the co-option we got 1.78 should be equal to e to the negative 0.05 times 13 over 100 u minus 92 then times 100 times u minus 1 because 13 over 100 u minus 92 is the b star the original your probability and 100 times u minus 1 here just cu cd is equal to 0 so you don't have to write out a term of cd and from here we multiply both sides by 100 u minus 92 we got 178 u minus 163.78 should be equal to 1236.6 u minus 1236.6 and so for u we got u is 1.0135 uh, so that's the answer 1.0135 problem 3 for a non-deviant pain stock you are given the following the current price of a stock is 40 in 6 months the stock will either go up to 48 or down to 36. It contains a compounded risk free interest rate 4%. The current, uh, the current price of a 6 month 42 dry European car on the stock is 2.5. What strategy can you use to take advantage of the arbitrary opportunity, if any? So it's similar to the first problem. First summarized question we got S0 is 40, SU is 48, SD is 36. Of course, at u is s not time one point two, and s d is s not time point nine. C u is six, c d is zero, and um, now let's say delta is the number of uh, share of stock, and b is the amount of dollars in bond. We got c not is delta s not plus b, and we uh, control a system, a linear system of two variables. Um, we got CU is delta e to the delta h s u plus b e to the r h, and CD is um, delta e to the delta h s d plus b e to the r h. From here we just uh, substitute the numbers in. We got six is forty eight delta plus b times e to the point oh two, and zero is thirty six delta plus b e to the point oh two. And from here we solve for delta and b. Delta is point five, and b is negative seventeen point sixty four, leading to the uh, the uh, c naught is two point thirty six. So you see that the theoretical price is two point thirty six, but the practice price is two point fifty. So um, uh, there's is there's is only one rule in arbitrary opportunity by low sell high so we have to buy the one car uh, we have to buy one unit of a European car and then we have to sell 0.5 share of stock and lend uh, no uh, excuse me in this case the theoretical price is lower than the practice price so we have to sell the car buy the stock and borrow money so we have to sell the car because the car here is 2.50 is uh, higher than 2.36 we have to buy low sell high so we have to sell the higher one and then we have to buy 0.5 share of stock and borrow 17.64 to make a profit of 0.14 Point fourteen here is the difference between two point fifty and two point thirty six. Problem four. You are given the historical prices of a stock in the past six weeks. You are also given that the contingency compared risk free rate is one percent, and the contingency compared return on the stock is expected to be three percent. Estimate the shock ratio of the stock using the annualized standard division which is estimated using the continuously compared historical return so here first of all in order to uh, 
calculate a sharp ratio, we have to first calculate a uh, continuously compounded historical return. Here we have the weekly stock price. So using the formula Ri is equal to natural log of Si plus 1 over Si, we have 5 value of Ri, 5 values, 0 0.0706, 0 0.0445, 0 0.0632, 0 0.0202, and 0 0.0198. And similarly, for example, 0 0.0706 is natural log of 44 over 41. Then 0 0.0445 is natural log of 46 over 44. 0 0, uh, 0.0632 is natural log 49 over 46. And 0 0.0202 is natural log 50 over 49. And 0 0.0198 is natural log of 51 over 50. From here we got, um, so here we have a symbol. So we have to find. Um, uh, standard deviation, the same both standard deviation, and it's very easy to calculate the same both standard deviation. We got SR is 0 0.0236, and then we have to calculate a normalized standardized deviation. Sigma head here is square root of 52 times SR because the year has 52 weeks. So we have uh, sigma head here is 0 0.1701. So the sharp ratio here is alpha minus R over sigma head. We got 0 0.03 minus 0 0.01 over 0 0.1701, and the answer is 0.12. This is the sharp ratio. Problem 5. You are given the following regarding stock of WWW. The stock is currently selling for 50. One year from now, the stock will be either 40 or 55. The stock pays dividend continuously at the rate proportional to its price. The dividend yield is 10%. The continuously compounded risk free interest rate is 5%. When reading the financial post, you'll notice that a one year at the money European car written on the stock WWW is selling for 1.9. You wonder whether this car is fairly priced. You use the binomial option pricing model to determine if the uh, arbitrary opportunity um, exists. What transaction should you enter to take advantage of the arbitrary opportunities if one exists? This problem is similar to problem 1 and 3, but uh, in this case we are given delta is 10%. So we have to modify the, uh, the solution a little bit. Let's summarize the question. We got S0 is 50, SU is 55. Of course, F U S U is S not time one point one, S D is forty, and it is S not time point eight. Here we got a one year at money European car, so the try should be equal to the uh, initial stock price, which is fifty. Uh, C U is five, because we take fifty five subtract fifty is five. CD is 0 because 40 subtract 50 is negative 10, so we have to take 0. Um, let's delta be the number of share of stock and B be the amount of dollars in bond. We got the equation, the, uh, we got the system of linear equation. CU is delta E to the delta H SU plus B E to the RH. CD is delta times E to the delta H SD plus B times E to the RH. So we got phi is equal to 55 delta e to the point 1 plus b times e to the point 5. 0 is equal to 40 delta e to the point 1 plus b times e to the point 5. So delta is 0 0.3016 and b is negative 12.68. So c naught here is 2.4. And we see that. The uh, theoretical price of the European car is 2.4, but the practice price is 1.9. So basically, we have to buy low, sell high. So we have to buy the car. We short sell uh, 0.3016 uh, share of stock, and then we have to lend 12.68 dollars at the risk-free interest rate. So that's the. Um, 
uh, arbitrary opportunity. And of course, the profit is going to be uh, 0.5. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.